The head of service of Ogun State, Selimot Olakpeju Otu, bowed out of the public service of the state today. Selimot Otu, who was appointed with impeccable pedigree and service record, is an accomplished psychologist, community development expert, and administrator who became the fourth woman to occupy the office and the 17th head of service since the creation of the state. Until her appointment, Otu was a permanent secretary in the Bureau of Political Affairs and Administration. Present at the special reception sent for ceremony is the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Dr. Dakpo Abiodu, the Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Olakunle Uluomo, is Deputy and Honorable Members of the Assembly, the Chief Judge Honorable Justice M. A. Dikpe Olu, the Secretary to the State Government Tokumbo Talabi, and other dignitaries. In his address, the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Dr. Dakpo Abiodo, commends the outgoing Head of Service for her honesty, dedication to service, and ability to ensure cooperation and collaboration amongst the workers while in office. He describes Selimot Adikpeju as a dependable member of the state workforce who was very amiable and hardworking. In the last 29 months of administration, we have continued to provide an atmosphere which ensures that the leadership and public service of the state continues to be more professional, more educated, and more committed towards the successful and continued implementation of our building our future together agenda. For your excellent service delivery, you are proud to be the ambassadors of the state because you pride yourselves as inheritors of the proud legacies of excellence of the Ogun State Public Service. Our retiring head of service, Elijah Salmon or two, all our retired and retiring top functionaries of the Ogun State Public Service, on this special reception, organizing their honor as a bar out of active service. I commend again the organizers and all other persons that contributed into making this event the success that it is. Giving her last speech, Selimot Otun expressed her sincere appreciation to the entire government for status and public service for their ultimate support in making our tenure productive. Today is a special day, I must say that. As you all have assembled here to bid us goodbye, our feeling of gratitude knows no bound. We are grateful to all of you wholeheartedly. The honor, the love, and the devotion bestowed on us are great worth. I'm heavy at heart as I remembered where, how, when I started this journey 34 years ago. Let me say that retiring is one of life's greatest joys, but it can be difficult to leave the colleagues and friends who made work more enjoyable, who helped want to advance in our careers. It is on this note that we express our sincere appreciation to the body of permanent secretaries, all the directors in the public service, and the entire members of the public service of Ogun State for the support, cooperation, and harmony that existed during our respective appointments. Other retirees express gratitude to Ogun State government for not only impacting them through their 35 years journey, but also giving them an enabling environment to serve. It's a thing of joy to witness you know, this occasion, which is an expression of gratitude to God uh, by the government on our behalf for the privilege to serve the good people of Ogun State. We appreciate it and we acknowledge the fact that um, what we have received is favor, you know, for the government to put this together and, and um, put in resources as well, you know, to put this um, occasion um, together to honor us. I want to thank uh, the governor of Ogun State and the good people of Ogun State for this particular uh, kind gesture. I want to appreciate the executive council for what they have done. So it's nice and uh, we want to say that anytime the government calls upon us for any assignments, we are, we are ready. It's a, it's a great state. While advising workers in service, the importance of hard work, dedication and commitment was re-emphasized.
The only thing that can exalt any civil servant or any worker, even those working for themselves, is hard work. We must work so that we will reap the benefit of hard work. No nation, no country, no state, no local government succeeds with people who don't work. We must, we must realize that this state belongs to us. Nobody is coming to work and develop it. We are now saying that those who have gone are our heroes. Those who are coming behind with what? They should also strive to be heroes. I want to appeal to them to make sure that they are diligent. People that are in service, they are diligent. If you are diligent, if you work well, there's a reward for hard work. And Ogo State will always appreciate you. So, 35 years is just like a fling of the finger. After retirement is another phase of life. The question is, what plans has been put in place to ensure retirees do not live in abject poverty? One thing that you know, can ensure you know, a safety net for civil servants is the pension scheme. At the moment, it is not being run well. Many state governments are defaulting you know, in remitting you know, their own part of the, uh, the fund contribution you know, to where it should go, to PENCOM. So that is just, if, if government can address that, then it's going to be a seamless thing for civil servants to retire because they are sure, one, that immediately they have taken their gratuity and they can invest that or roll it into whatever investment they have already. Retiring out of service after 35 years is a great feat. That which is commendable and worth celebrating, as the workforce of a nation is the bedrock of its growth. From Abe Okuta, Jumoke Adebari, reporting for Kaftan Television News.